Hi guys, so the AP Physics 1 FRQ is just released for... By the way, this is only for version J. This is the only version that's been released. So if you had another version, you, you cannot discuss them because College Board hasn't officially released them. Otherwise, you might get your scores cancelled, so be careful. So let's go over question 1, Mathematical Routines, in this video. So we are presented with a scenario with a block and a cart. The block has one-fifth of the mass of the cart and is defined as mc as mass of the cart. m sub c, I mean. So, uh, we have this scenario where um, the cart starts moving at a constant velocity, v of c, and then um, it's released from rest and it's traveling at a constant velocity. And eventually, at time equals t sub 1, the drop block collides with the cart and starts moving along with the cart in an inelastic collision, a perfectly inelastic collision where it sticks with the block, uh, uh, the block sticks with the cart, and it, really, it goes to a new constant velocity, v final. So our first task is using conservation of momentum, sketch a graph for the x component of the momentum. So obviously I gave away the answer there when I said conservation of momentum, so we're just going to copy paste this over and draw a straight horizontal line um, over it. So I'm going to paste this right now. Wait here, um, no. Um, so I'm going to paste this graph and draw a straight horizontal line. Okay, I I'm going to save this. Yeah, and that's the, and then there we have part A, section one here. So next they're going to be asked, I'm going to pull up the next part. Part A, and then in part A2, starting with the uh, conservation of momentum, derive an expression for the speed B final of the system after the inelastic collision. So we're going to use the conservation of momentum. Lowercase p, that's pressure. We have to make sure that it is. And then uh, this would mean m i v i equals um, m f v f. And from here, we're just going to plug in everything we know. So initially, it's just the cart moving horizontally. So m c v c equals, stop capitalizing equals m m c plus plus m c over five um times v sub f and that's what we're solving for so um v sub f would then be um not volume velocity um the m c v c over 6 6 over 5 times m c so the m c's cancel out and then we get v of sub f equals um equals um, 5 over 6 times m c of c so there we go um v sub c here so there's our part a section 2 answer so now we're going to have to do step part three, which you already see here, of here part A Roman numeral three, and we're going to do, ask to start with the conservation of energy, or no, just use k equals one half mv squared. I'm guessing to derive an expression. You don't use conservation of energy here because kinetic energy is in fact not conserved. This is a inelastic collision. So we're going to have to derive an expression for the change in kinetic energy. Um, from the initial to t on t equals t2, just like um, we gave with momentum. So we're going to first use a formula from the uh, reference sheet here. And then we're going to do delta k equals k final minus k sub initial And uh, ignore that. Uh, delta k equals 
one half times m sub c plus m sub c over five. That's mass final, and then um, thus it and then velocity final would be um, we already we derived that so it's five six times v sub c squared because it's kinetic energy minus one half times um, m sub c times v sub c squared and then now we just have to simplify this one half six so five times m um, six over five m c and 25 over 36 v sub c squared minus one half times m sub c that's v sub c squared and now we can combine like terms and um this would this would simplify um here we can copy paste this here um we can copy paste this entire expression and we can change this to um here mc and the 6 over 5 will go here and chain cancel with one of the 5 6s so we would get 5 over 6 here and then we could do delta k equals 1 half and then we could combine this negative 1 6 m m sub c v sub c c squared Um, and then this would simplify to delta k equals one half times and goes negative one negative one twelve times m c v sub c squared. So these are the final answer for part A here. And in part B, we're going to uh, make a justification. So we're given a new scenario where a block is being dropped and collides again, but instead of sticking, it's sliding. So it's another collision. So uh, there's an internal friction force that's acting between the block and the cart. But because we're dealing with the block cart system, this is not an external force. So there's no net force being acting on the system. Which means, um, because there's no net force acting on the system, the conservation of linear momentum applies. Um, the x component of the momentum of the new block cart system remains constant during delta t. Uh, here, yeah, because. Um, there are no um, exter net external forces acting on the block cart system. The frictional forces are acting between the blocks which are both part of the system. So uh, there uh, this force is an internal force that does not um, affect the momentum of the block cart system. All right, so um, it, just clarifying the wording is confusing, but it's an internal force we're talking about here. So um, you're not going to uh, have um, and uh, there's no external force uh, acting there. So um, Momentum is only affected by net external forces. It's not like conservation of energy where a non-conservative force will change the energy of the system. So that's question one. In the next video, we'll go over the other questions, including uh, the, the rest of the questions of version J, including the spring one, the lab, and fluids. Okay. But here now, here's question one, where we had to determine um, changes in momentum and energy during collisions.